Welcome to class, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Today we are behind the scenes of a video that's going to go up and the thumbnail shows Bella here, but it's actually about more than just Bella. I just didn't have time to do a proper thumbnail to get all the decorations and writing around it. And besides, she looks so cute. Anyway, in this video, I do talk about Bella and her vegan dog food, but mostly I talk about a TikTok channel that I thought was kind of interesting and you're gonna see it coming up. I'll show you a little bit. Anyway, right now we have a premiere that is starting in three minutes. We have 90 people waiting here. And I didn't have time to even advertise for this on YouTube or on Instagram like I usually do. I'm just so busy. Anyway, we're gonna just dive in anyway. So the, the video today that everyone is gonna watch uh, in just a couple of minutes is called Bella Vegan Dog, My Kitchen Table and a TikTok weightlifting vegan named Hunter. All right, so let's just get right into it here. Let me have a look at your different comments and uh, see what I can uh, talk about if there's anything because they go by so fast so I don't usually have time. And that's the whole purpose of this video right now. So let's have a look. What have we got here? All right, we've got Vegan Tim USA who seems to be trying to, I guess, I guess Vegan Tim USA wants to be a moderator. So this person says, avoid honey. Bees might seem insignificant, but they play a huge role in the ecosystem. Okay, this person, I'm definitely gonna make a moderator right away. Um, so that's the button way down here. All right, because I can see that he is in uniform, which is great. So good job everyone who's in uniform and maybe this person can help to teach, which is great. Vegan Cheryl, 22, from the U.S., says, Be vegan. Animal agriculture is the most polluting industry. Being vegan helps to reduce climate change. All right, let's go. This is great stuff. Um, okay, this person's saying something. I'm not sure. They're having a private conversation with each other. I had a father. I'm not sure what this means. Uh, Miss Katie's the best teacher ever. Oh, thank you. Oh, and look over here on the side. We have Bella. This is Bella hanging out with me. We have a day bed for her that she hangs out. That's like literally her bed. Isn't that amazing? Again, poor sweetie. She needs to go for a walk soon. And over on top of my piano there, I have a sign. Anyway, that's just a giant mess over there. But you can see that behind the scenes, I'm just like a normal person here with a house with probably too many pillows in it. But anyway. I'm gonna go and take Bella for a walk as soon as I've finished all of this. And I just wanna remind everybody how grateful I am of, uh, that sometimes these premieres get started and I'm still not finished walking Bella. So I super appreciate that you guys are, are just amazing teaching assistants here that you can take over when I can't be here. So Vegan Zane is saying be vegan. Okay, great. So maybe this person, Vegan Zane, if you wanna be a moderator, what you have to do is wear the uniform. And what I call the uniform is the words written down uh, in blue so you will become uh, a moderator. You can become a moderator if you write the word vegan, then you have an underscore, then your first name, then another underscore, and this is actually backwards. It should be this way with the number at the end. So your country, you can also put your province or your state if you wanna narrow it down. That's kind of more interesting actually because the United States are so big and so is Canada. And if you are anywhere else in the world, that's great too. All right, let's show this. And oh, somebody else, are, see a moderator just had on these guys. You moderators are amazing. I have the most amazing moderators. All right, what have we got here? So somebody sub, I'm vegan, not sure what that. Stop animal testing, it says vegan. Um, yeah, that was actually a really good comment. So maybe that person is ready to be a moderator. That would be great. I just wanna remind people that, uh, that the egg industry is an absolutely terrible place. Let me just quickly go behind the scenes here and show you that um, this is what happens. Look, at one day all these poor little babies are cut up and their lives are ended if they're boys. And that's the ugly truth about the egg industry and that's why it's so important to not eat eggs. And whoop, there goes the beginning. Oh my goodness, everything's happening so fast. All right, while you guys are busy spamming um, vegan foods, I just wanna finish here. So yeah, I just want to talk about the male chicks. Oh no, I can't do this while the music's going on. Let's just go back here and just, I'll deal with that after. All right, so welcome to class for everybody who is new here. And thank you to everybody who is gonna spam. I'm gonna write uh, on the little thing here, my little cursor here, I'm gonna write subscribe. And if anybody else wants to do that too, that is very helpful. I'm gonna put a seed link here which is this cute little thing. That's how you do it with a little colon there. And then I'm gonna also put a blossom, which is something that I think is cute. And that together, when I highlight those together, copy that, like this, go over here. There we go. 
spam that. Oh, I went over. We only have 200 characters. All right, let's do that. Here we go. So thank you everybody for subscribing and pre please press the notification bell and help me get animals out of hell. That way you can be here during the premieres with me and it, we have a lot of fun here. All right, uh, I've been vegan ever since I was born. Well, that's wonderful, cool. The vegan animal agriculture is the most polluting industry. Yeah, it's terrible. All right, somebody says, let's go. All right. So I want to thank everybody, by the way, for 120,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate that. If you haven't yet watched this documentary, don'twatch.org, please go ahead and watch that. It's only, um, oh my goodness, look at all this dust. Oh, jeez. I shouldn't invite you into my home until I dust. <laughs> Anyways, you can probably imagine it's not my priority. <coughs> watch this documentary. It's only six minutes long called don'twatch.org. And please watch the documentary, watchdominion.com as well. All right, here we go. Welcome to class. We've got Bella here, and we're going to feed her her favorite dog food. She usually gets about a cup twice a day. You can see that it's easy to pour, just like any other dog food, except that it contains no death. So that's good. And she actually really likes it a lot. Right, Bella? Yeah. All right, I usually feed her outside so that she can pee or poo afterwards. And, uh, hold on, let me just open the door. She's going to sit on the porch here. All right, so Bella is completely healthy. She's been vegan since August 2017. There's her food. She's doing fine. So now I'm going to go back in the house and I want to show you my kitchen table. You ready? Come see. table and it has a whole bunch of messages on there one of them I want to remind you about is that if you need support you can join Facebook groups to find recipes and new vegan friends I also want to show you today a TikTok account this account is by this guy his name is Hunter Toby with a number four at the end listen to him yes I do literally have deer antlers tattooed on me and yes I am vegan I was born and raised in rural Michigan. I was raised in a hunting family. Every year we'd go up to deer camp in her cabin. Um, my name is literally Hunter, but that just shows anybody can change. I abused animals for my whole life. I was a huge meat eater for years. I played football, was into sports, always been into weightlifting and powerlifting and thought I needed meat to be strong and healthy, but I was wrong. Anyone can change, dude. If I can do it, you can, so we go vegan. Yes, I do. First off, I want to point out how it's always the guys with no videos or pictures of themselves that say this. I pretty rarely, actually virtually never get shit talked to a person. I'm 245 pounds, squat over 600, working in prison, roll with inmates every day, training them by. All right, so there you go. That's a little bit of the TikTok account. You can go watch that video on your own anytime you want to. Um, let's keep going with the comments here. So, be vegan, animal agriculture, okay, we saw that one already, so burg, buggers, busted, don't know what you're trying to say there. I wish I could own a dog like Bella. Well, okay, here's the thing, we don't really think of it as owning a dog. It's not right to buy dogs and that uh, are being bred and that sort of thing, but it's okay to adopt one if you're saving the dog's life. See, animals are not here for us, they're here with us on the planet. And I know it seems like you would love to uh, have a dog like Bella, but dogs are actually a lot of work. You have to remember that. You have to have a lot, a lot of money in the bank for, for vet bills, for medication, for food. I mean, don't just get a dog and think it's going to be an easy thing. It's, it almost is like having a child. You need to make sure your dog gets exercise two or three times a day to walk your dog. And, you know, they, they are not just like a stuffed animal. They are, they are actually sentient beings who need a lot of attention, you know, and uh, sometimes they get dirty and sometimes they mess up your house. And it's not, it's not as easy as you would think. In fact, I actually think that people should share dogs in, in families on the same street. I think that dogs could benefit from having a different environment sometimes. Like when Bella goes over to one of her friend's houses, she absolutely loves it. It's like a doggy date and it's great for their dog too. So why not say, say, oh my goodness, here's a, a donation. Well, thank you so much for this amazing donation here, Vegan Jordan. Wow. I'm going to say thank you. Wow. Th 
thank you for the donation. Okay, and I think I'm gonna try to put a bunch of orange, let's just put a bunch of orange things. Oops, I got need a space here, don't I? All right, let's see. Thank you so much for the donation. I really do appreciate that. Thank you for showing appreciation for my work here. That's great. All right, do you think I have time, a room for another one? It's 185, I don't think so, let's try. Oh, it went over. Okay, let's go back. Do 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 there. All right. So thank you for the donation so much. Vegan Jordan USA. Whoa, I feel sorry for Bella. Well, thank you for the donation anyway. Thank you for the donation. And you shouldn't feel sorry for Bella. She's perfectly fine, everybody. You're just crazy. Oh, I went over again. Oh God. Go back, go back, go back. All right. Okay. Um, I don't like it when it lines up like that. I like it when it's more spread out, the uh, design. But anyway, okay, thank you. Be vegan. Okay, we have this comment already. Um, it helps to reduce, being vegan helps to reduce climate change. That's absolutely true. And speaking of that, have a look at this here. Look, here's a little pamphlet that I got. Fight climate change with diet change. See that? And what you can do is you read in here all the different ways that it is important for us to be vegan because it is better for the ocean, better for the air that we breathe. It is better for uh, to make sure that we don't cut down too much forest. See, animal agriculture is one of the leading causes of deforestation worldwide. And cattle ranching can be linked to 65% of deforestation in the Brazilian Amazon. So it goes on here about deforestation and if you think that grass-fed beef is better, it's not. It talks about GMOs and pesticides. He also talks about water use. You can save the same amount of water by, ship, by skipping one gallon of milk or 27 showers. Isn't that amazing? So, but if you drink soy milk, it is much better. And um, yeah, it just goes on here. These pamphlets are great. You can get this one I got from... Uh, it's a place called FFAC, uh, FFACoalition.org. I'm not sure where I picked this up. I probably picked it up at one of the animal rights conferences that I went to before COVID. I went to one and there are a lot of fun. You can meet all kinds of vegans there. And here's a great ideas for cooking animal free, easy meal ideas. But you can also Google that, right? You guys know that. You can get meat replacers here. Look, doesn't that look delicious? And that is uh, vegan meats that you can buy. You can use firm tofu. Remember that sauces are what make it really zingy, whatever you're eating. When you're eating out, different ideas that you can buy. You can get Middle Eastern food, you can get Thai food, Italian food. You can get Mexican, Chinese. I mean, it's all there. So I wanna just go back before I continue um, uh, over here. I just wanna say here, this is what I have behind the scenes. So um, I am just keep all different little comments here. This is kind of just for the moderators. But I want to remind you guys about some stuff that you might not have seen before in the past. And so many of my little notes remember. Oh, yeah, so I'm saying here, by the way. Um, coming out as LGBTQ is done for oneself. Coming out as an animal rights activist is the opposite of for oneself. It is for others. It is for the victims. However, coming out in all cases it's good okay it's good in all cases so that's uh, important to know just to remind you that all members of the lgbtq can be vegan and cows and milk cows only produce milk after they've had a baby that milk is not ours we must not rape cows to create cows rape is wrong stop paying people to violate cows and steal their milk all right uh, if you haven't seen cowspiracy yet you should watch that and anyway, there's just so many different comments here. I have them all in alphabetical order. These are all like, for example, all the different ones under letter uh, D. The, by the way, if you haven't yet downloaded the app, it's called Happy Cow to find vegan restaurants near you. Okay, that's kind of cool. You just put it in your phone and you say, uh, it'll tell you, oh, there's one down the street or whatever. And eating animals is wrong. We must strive not to hurt them. There are thousands of other things to eat like tofu, rice, beans, lentils, pasta, oat milk, soy milk, other veggies and fruits. So be kind and be vegan. I try to eat 30 different foods a day. Now you might think that's a lot of different types, but remember one nut is considered one type of food, right? So if you have five different nuts, that's five different foods. 
I have a variety of different things. I have a lot of spinach and I have all kinds of different spices. And uh, remember, you can just choose from veggies, fruits, nuts, seeds, grains, oats. I usually have oat meals every, every day and chia seeds and flax seeds. Eat those. Eat peanut butter, lentils, beans, rice, pasta, vegan pizza, vegan lasagna, drink soy milk or oat milk. Don't eat eggs, uh, meat or cow's milk. And eat figs, not pigs. Eat dates, not dogs. Oh my goodness, I have to clean my computer screen here. Okay, I'm gonna, I promise it'll be clean by the next video. All right, um, eat carrots, not cats. Eat beans, not bacon. Eat chickpeas, not chickens. Eat tofu, not turkeys. Eat bananas, not bunnies. Eat hummus, not horses. All right, so I was just finishing off this uh, thing before, so about these little baby chicks. You know, it's super sad what happens to them. Um, they are incubated by machines and born motherless in industrial hatcheries. The male chick's short time on earth is filled with fear, bewilderment, and pain as workers push them through the grim stages of their life's journey from incubator to mass grave to sorting and sexting and slaughter. As they're tossed about from hatching, from hatching drawer to conveyor belt to sorting tray to the bone-breaking jaws of a grinder or the agony of the gas chamber or the horror of the sm smothering bag or the slow death in a dumpster filled with the dead and dying bodies of their brothers, these newborns never stop cheeping for mothers they never knew. If the chicks are hatched on the egg farm, the males in each clutch are killed on the farm with a sharp pair of shears or a knife at the back of the necks. Anyways, you can see it's just absolutely horrible. So cage tree are not better. So don't get cage free eggs because it just means that they're in a giant cage all crammed together still. It's not any better. And lastly, I wanted to show you this that I just drew, which took me forever. That's, that's me, yeah. So I'm using that for a certain uh, group of uh, videos that I'm posting, and I might use it as a thumbnail for this. So what do you think? Does it look like she's, which, what is in her hand? What do you guys think? Tell me. What do you think? Do you think that's a finger that's up? And if so, which finger is it? Or do you think that I'm holding something? Write it in the comments. What do you think I am doing here? Let me know. Also, please subscribe to this channel and press the notification bell. Help me get animals out of hell. And coming up on the screen are going to be a bunch of other videos. Please be curious and look at them. Click on the other videos. Have a look around. There's all kinds of cool stuff. All right. I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now. Do, 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 do.